our next step on today's tour of the natural base and natural log are solving equations. And you'll be pleased to know that solving equations with e to the x and ln of x uses the same underlying principles as solving for any other exponential or any other log. And you'll be even more pleased to know that it's actually easier. Solving equations with e to the x and ln of x is easier. The underlying idea is the same. To solve an exponential, we take the log of both sides. I should say to solve an exponential equation, we take the log of both sides. And to solve a log equation, we exponentiate both sides. If you keep that in mind, that like similar to everything else, started spelling that wrong, similar to everything else we've done all year long, if you want to get rid of something in equation, you use its inverse. So if you want to get rid of an exponential, you use a log. If you want to get rid of a log, you use an, exponenti an exponential. But one thing to remember is you always have to isolate first. So it doesn't help to exponentiate both sides or take the log of both sides until you've isolated the exponential you're trying to get undo or isolated the log you're trying to undo. So what I'm going to do first here in 6e to the x minus 3 equals 35 is start by isolating that e to the x. So add 3 to both sides. And then divide by 6 on both sides, which can be reduced, not all that much, but I can write that as 19 over 2 instead of 38 over 6. Sorry, 19 over 3. And then we're going to follow our guiding principles to solve an exponential. We're going to take the log of both sides. Unlike other exponentials where we have to take the natural log, the common log of both sides, when we're dealing with e, we can undo it with the natural log of both sides. So I will take the natural log of both sides. And all that I have to say is what, what happens here is that ln of e to the x is just x. Because log base e of e to the x, the log base e and the exponential base e cancel out. And what we're left with is ln of 19 over 3. Which if you wanted to say it simplified, we would take that quotient and write it as a difference. ln of 19 minus ln of 3, and that would be my solution. It's an exponential, so I don't have to worry about domain restrictions. And that's my answer. For number 4, sorry, it's not number 4, it just starts with a 4. 4 times the ln of x squared equals 72. Similarly to before, we, we're going to isolate the ln first. So I'll divide everything by 4. So the ln of x squared equals 72 divided by 4 is 18. And we'll use our guiding principle from down here. To solve a log equation, we exponentiate both sides. And again, since we're dealing with a base e, we can exponentiate with a base e. And so what we end up with, e to the ln that cancels out, so we have x squared equals e to the 18. And now we're looking at a quadratic, x squared, so we'll use the same logic we've used all year long. You want to get rid of an x squared? Take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared, x. Remember, it's really the absolute value of x, but we deal with that by putting a plus or minus here. The square root of e to the 18th, um, I can simplify that, because remember, when we take the square root of something with a power, we can just cut the power in half. So x is equal to plus or minus e to the 9th. This was a log equation, so we do have to check to make sure that our answers work. But notice how, since we squared the argument of the log, it's always positive. x squared is always positive 
unless x is 0. So the only thing that x couldn't be was 0, which means both positive and negative e to the ninth work out just fine. Okay, I want you to pause the video now and try and do the next two on your own. And then you can check with the rest of the video. For this one, we will divide by 3 on both sides to 2x minus 5 equals 4 thirds. And then take the natural log of both sides. So that would leave us with 2x minus 5 equals the ln of 4 thirds. And for this one, you can certainly write that as ln of 4 minus ln of 3. In fact, I will do that. Um, so 2x minus 5 equals the ln of 4. And remember that 4 is 2 squared, so that is 2 ln of 2 minus ln of 3. And then I'm just going to get x by itself, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and then divide by 2 on both sides. So x equals 2 ln of 2 minus ln of 3 plus 5 over 2, and that's your answer. If you would have left this unsimplified, it would have if you left the logs unsimplified, it would have been pretty similar. It would have been the ln of 4 thirds plus 5 over 2. And then for the log equation, remember just like with all the other logs we've done, exponentiating both sides is great, but first you've got to condense the logs. So that would be the ln of x over 2 to the fifth power is 32. 3. And then we'll exponentiate both sides and say that x over 32 equals e cubed, and so x by itself equals 32 e cubed. And that would be our final answer. Do a quick check just to make sure that your argument is positive, but the argument is just plain old x, so as long as 32 e cubed is positive, we're good.